Hi everyone, this is Jen. We are doing some yoga this morning. Um, I personally feel very tight and sore this morning, uh, so I thought we'd do a little bit of mellow stuff, which we haven't done uh, in a while on our Wednesday uh, midweek yoga class. Uh, so do a little bit of that um, so we feel good and loose and stretched uh, for the rest of our week, right? Great way to get our midweek yoga on. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here just with our left leg crossed in front of right. So super, super chill, nice, easy uh, seat. Hands on your lap or down by your sides. And take a moment here to close down your eyes. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Exhale it out, empty out your lungs. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Do that again, full deep in through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Gently tuck your chin in toward your chest. Slowly roll your head over your left shoulder. And then continue your head roll all the way back to the back of your space. Head over your right shoulder. Return your chin eventually to your chest. Go for your second round. Inhale, head over your left shoulder. Allow your head to gently roll back. Head over your right shoulder. And chin toward your chest. Take your next inhale, lift your chin up neutral. And then as if somebody's called your name past your left shoulder, turn your head toward your left shoulder, still chin neutral. Another breath here, full deep inhale, get tall. And exhale, gently move your chin even farther past your left shoulder. Nice stretch through the right side of your neck. Take an inhale, tilt your chin upward toward the ceiling. And exhale, go tuck your chin in. One more time, inhale, go. Tilt your chin upwards. And exhale, tuck your chin in. Good, and then continue to roll your chin down toward your chest. Take a breath here once you're in center. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. And your next inhale, lift your chin up. And then we'll pick up this left leg, uh, very gently interlace your fingers around the outside of your left foot. And from here, pull your left foot in toward your chest. Stay tall and then gently release again. Use your strong arms, pull your left foot in toward your chest and gently release. Twice more here. Pull your foot in toward your chest, still super tall, and gently release. One more time, pull it in, hold it there. Lift up taller, relax your shoulders down, and then gently lean back. See if you can lift up your right foot. Take your right foot to meet your left foot, soles of your feet together, interlace your fingers, and then gently pull your feet in toward your chest. Maintain your balance here. Hold for four, for three, taller, for two, good. For one, gently return these feet to the floor and we'll switch it out. So right leg crossed in front of your left. Sit up nice and tall and we'll do a couple of shoulder circles here. Roll your shoulders forward and up. Squeeze your blades together. Again, roll your shoulders forward and up, squeeze your blades together. Let's go the other direction. So squeeze your blades, lift your shoulders, return your shoulders forward. One more time, go squeeze your blades, lift your 
shoulders up and roll your shoulders forward. Find your neutral spine. Close down your eyes. Empty out your lungs. Pull deep in through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Gently tuck your chin in towards your chest. Roll your head over your right shoulder. Slowly, slowly roll your head all the way back. Head over your left shoulder. Chin down toward your chest. We have that second round. Inhale, head over your right shoulder. Let your head gently roll all the way back. Head over your left shoulder. Chin toward your chest. Your next inhale, lift your chin up, you're tall. And then as if somebody's called your name over your right shoulder, look past your right shoulder. I feel that stretch run down the left side of your neck. Nice long stretch here. Take a breath, inhale, lift. And exhale, see if you can gently encourage your chin to move even more toward your right shoulder, keeping your both shoulders chest square. On your next inhale, tilt your chin upward. And exhale, tuck your chin in. One more time, inhale, tilt your chin upward. Exhale, tuck your chin in. Tear your roll, your chin down toward your chest. And once you're there, take another breath, inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Your next inhale, lift your chin up, open your eyes. All right, lean back just a hair, pick up your right leg, and we'll take these fingers, interlace them around the outside of our uh, right foot. See how this feels. On your next inhale, pull your foot in closer toward your chest, and gently release. So using your strong biceps here, get a little taller. Go pull, yeah, and gently release. Twice more here. Pull, go in, allow you to go and gently release, still relaxing shoulders away. Pull, go in. So nice. And gently release. Good. Next time you pull in, lean back. See if you can pick up your left foot. Reach for the outside of your left foot. Interlace your fingers. We've been here before. Sit up tall, chest up tall. Pull for four. Use your strong arms to pull for three. Chest up for two, shoulders relax for one. Gently lower these feet back down. Nice. All right, from here, cross at your ankles any which way. Find yourself just in a quick little tabletop. I know we did a lot of calf yesterday, calf stretch or calf uh, strengthening, heel raises. So we'll take this right foot like me, lift it up, and then place this right foot kind of over your calf muscle, looks like this. And then gently sit down. Already you have that weight, that pressure of the top of your right foot over your left calf, right? So giving yourself a really nice massage here. See what you can do. Right now I'm at the meaty part of my left calf, but maybe you wanna to start to kind of inch your foot, your right foot down your left calf closer toward your ankle. And see how that feels each time you do a little pulse back with your weight heavier. See if that offers you a nice stretch anywhere along the way. And when you find that place, you might decide to stay there just a little bit longer. I'm gonna switch the view so you can see a little bit better, but basically I'm sliding my right foot down. Right, sliding my right foot down the plane of my left calf. And anywhere along the way that you feel gives you a really good stretch, stay right there. I love the idea of using our own bodies to help us stretch, 
to help us lift whatever it is, right? So rather than taking an external object, which is absolutely fine, of course, um, it's really nice to be able to use your own body, right? The body that you carry around uh, moment to moment uh, to help you, right? So we're not always looking for something outside of us. We can really use the tool uh, of our own body, right? To help another part of our body stretch, strengthen, whatever it is. So let's just take one more breath here in through your nose. And exhale, maybe sit yourself down. Ooh. Calves are really difficult to like get yourself to stretch, right? So it feels like a foam roller. And actually I like this because with a foam roller I find it hard to tap into my calf, but this is like perfect. Alright, anyway, let's come up on our knees and uh, shift your body weight into your left knee. Send your right leg out to the right. Take an inhale, reach your both arms up. And then take your right hand down your right leg, reach your left arm up and over just for a nice little side body stretch here. One more breath and lift up on your right side. Exhale, knee a little bit more. And gently release. Tuck your left foot in, sit your bottom down, and we're just moving into a nice little spine twist. So right foot over uh, the outside of your left knee, and then drop your right butt cheek down. Okay, so drop this guy down, both hips even against the floor. Take your right hand behind you, reach your left arm up, and give yourself a really nice twist. Keep your right bottom dropped down so you really get your best stretch here. And check that your right knee is still facing upward toward the ceiling. One more breath, inhale, lift up a little bit taller. Exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. Nice. And from here, let's gently untwist. Send this left foot forward so it's parallel to the top of your space. And we'll get this right leg to go on top as well. So from the front view, you're basically in this little boxy shape. Knee over foot, foot over knee. Uh, this is our double pigeon, just finding a good hip opener here. Staying tall, staying lifted offers you a really nice hip opener already, especially if your right knee feels like it's elevated quite a bit, no problem. You can take your right hand and gently push into your inner thigh just to offer you a little bit of assistance here, a little bit of encouragement. We're never forcing, we're just gently encouraging. And if this feels okay, just take note by the way this heel wants to slip to the crease of our knee. Make sure it's just right on top where it's maybe mildly uh, less comfortable, but where we really want to find that good stacked position. Hands back behind if it suits you, lift up tall through your chest, and gently hinge forward. Lengthen out through your spine, draw your shoulders back, open your chest, and gently, gently. Feels so good. See if, in addition to your hip opener, you can find from lengthening your spine to alleviate any pressure um, tightness in your low back as well. I oftentimes don't realize that I have any tightness in my low back until I do these forward folds, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that feels amazing, that decompression. So see what you can do for yourself there. Shoulders back, open up your chest, hinge a little bit deeper. Good. And gently, gently, we release. Good. Keep your left leg as is, and we'll just send this right leg straight for a very basic hamstring stretch. Square up over your right leg and gently hinge. Think of sending energy out through your right heel and hinge forward. Shoulders back, lengthen out through your spine. And here again, see if you can find a little bit more length, not only through your right leg, but also through your spine. Right? Any opportunity you can get to lengthen, to decompress your low back, take it, right? View that as an opportunity, take it. Ah, oh, feels so good. Uh, since we're down here, if you can afford to do so, take your left hand to the outside of your right foot. And if you've started to round, take another inhale to lift yourself up and see if you might be able to, from this place on your exhale, 
just a little bit deeper. You might even fold a little bit more. If it suits you and it feels good, something you like to do, take your right hand around maybe, wrap toward your left inner thigh, you see my fingers here, and then give yourself an even deeper twist. Draw your right shoulder back, hinge it a little bit more forward, lengthen out through your spine twist. Take another breath, lengthen, Exhale, go twist, exhale, go in. Very good. From this place, let's gently lose this bind and then fold all the way over this right leg. Again, I'm looking to maintain that length in my spine while I do this deeper forward fold. You can use leverage, grabbing onto your foot or your leg somewhere to lengthen and then hinge just a little bit deeper. See if you can send more energy out your heel. Re-engage through your right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. So nice. Good. For next inhale, gently lift yourself up. Cross at your ankles. We'll find your tabletop once again. All right. So we're back to our little calf massage. Take your left foot and place it again somewhere along your uh, calf muscle, right? It could be the center, the belly, the meat of it, or a little bit higher. Play around with it, especially your first uh, round with this. It's just a diagnostic to feel out what you might need uh, a little bit more of, right? Stretching wise, whether it's the meat of your calf muscle or closer to your ankle. Play around, test it. And remember the beautiful thing about using your own body weight here is that you have this really uh, flexible way of creating your best stretch, right? So if you find that a particular spot is really, really tight, it's not necessarily the case that you go like full on heavy. You might actually want to go a little bit more gently into it, apply a little bit less weight into it, and test it out, give your body some time, right? It's not necessarily the case, you need to go uh, zero to 100. Maybe you gently ease your way in, and once your body is like a little bit more willing, willing to accept the weight, then you add a little bit more, and maybe a little bit more. But maybe also, your body's like no more, in which case you respect it, listen, and you back off. Pause right there, whatever it is. So let's stay here for just a little bit longer. Uh, so we, every single time we go from one side to the next, stay flexible with that. So just in case one side you were like, oh gosh, my foot felt really good closer to the knee side of my calf. Maybe the other side is completely different and it feels like the stretch uh, the compression feels better closer to your ankle. So you just want to stay flexible with it and see what works better for you. All right. From here, hinge forward. And we'll come up onto our right knee. Take this left foot out to the left. Plant it. Lift up. Inhale, arms go all the way up. And then slide your left hand down your left leg. Reach your right arm up and over for a really nice side body stretch. Nice and mild, nice and mellow, open up through your chest. Good, and gently release. As you come back down, take this right foot in and then sit yourself all the way down, moving into our spine twist. So left foot, take it over the outside of your right knee. Make sure we're not sitting on this right foot. Give yourself enough space for your bottom to sit down. Left hand close to the base of your spine. Lift your right arm all the way up, and then find that twist. Pull your navel in tight, and twist a little bit deeper. Good, inhale, lift up top tall, and exhale, go twist, go twist, go twist, feel good. And gently untwist. Let's take this right foot, bring it Forward, right? So instead of close to our hip, we're kind of moving it out of the way. And then left leg 
stack right on top. So again, we have our double pigeon. I'll show you from a different angle just so we get a better um, feel for it. Rather than these heels close into our hips, they're kind of pushed out a little bit farther away. Feels a little bit less comfortable, right? A little bit deeper of a hip opener. And if you find that there's like this big gap between your left knee and your foot, remember, feel free to use your left hand to give a little bit of a nudge downward, a little bit of downward pressure into your inner thigh. That gentle encouragement sometimes is very, very helpful. Now on this side, if you're actually feeling pretty loose, pretty open, take both hands behind you to start. Remember, find that lift, right? We can never find too much lift. It always feels really good to decompress. And then gently hinge forward, right? So you start to feel uh, that hip opener for sure. And as you get started, you wanna preserve that length in your spine, top of your head, through your tail. It's one long, of course, if this feels okay, your hands are not necessarily helping you, then bring your arms forward, again, taking care to maintain that length in our spine. Hinge a little bit deeper, open your chest, and allow that hip opener to just happen. Feel it, melt into it, and enjoy it. Right? Sometimes with these hip opening uh, postures, uh, they're really working uh, kind of this different our, our bodies that are very feel sometimes very defensive so take some time to really just uh, exhale enjoy that softening of your hips that may take a little bit of time right a little bit of patience so give yourself that time right sometimes when we mentally already know hey our hips are a little bit tighter it's kind of helpful because then you don't have this um off expectation that they should just be loose like this right in an instant it just takes a little bit of time a little bit of chipping away uh, and, and breath by breath hopefully it starts to feel slightly more accessible relax your shoulders lose any tension where there needs no tension and enjoy that stretch good Gently lift yourself up, and we'll keep our right leg as is. Extend your left leg long in front of you. Sole of your right foot up against your left thigh. And then find your place here. Lift up tall, flex your left foot, energy out your left heel, and gently hinge. It doesn't take a huge hinge to find a huge stretch in your left hamstring. Right, so a couple of things, if you're in this hinged position, we're about like 45 degrees, you're like, I don't really feel anything, send more energy out your heel. Lengthen out through your tailbone just a little bit more. If you engage your quad even more, such that when you flex your foot, there's even a little bit of air underneath your left heel, oh gosh, you will increase that stretch so much simply by finding that a uh, little bit of a change. Continue to hinge here. And since we're down here, again, we'll take this right hand to the outside of our left foot, just for a little twist. So inhale, lengthen, belly in tight, exhale, maybe you twist, draw your left shoulder back a little bit more. You wanna preserve that length in your spine, of course. So as you lengthen and hinge and twist, you wanna to continue to find the top of your head through your tail, one long solid piece. As your option, take your left hand, wrap it around, Go for your right kind of hip flexor area, you see it? And then gently hinge a little bit deeper from there. I like using the leverage of this grip, right hand to the outside of my left foot to help draw my left shoulder back, deepen the hinge, deepen the twist. Great. Good. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Oh, feels so good. And exhale. Gently, gently deepen. Good, let's unwind this back arm and simply fold over our left leg. Flex your left arm. Again, if you find that your left leg is bent, mine's like mildly bent, I certainly feel that. Encourage your left leg to be as long as possible. It's difficult to do, right, to make yourself do it, but you'll feel the difference. All of a sudden your hamstring feels like it's, uh, that stretch is intensified. 
<coughs> and you won't even need to pull deeper to get that really nice stretch. <coughs> Let's hang out here for a little bit longer. Feels so good. Hold for four. Lengthen out through your spine. Hold for three. Hold for two. Long spine. Hold for one. Gently lift yourself up. So nice. We'll bring both legs together. Just find a kneeling position real quick. So we've gone from that open position to now a very square position. Just hands on your lap. Draw your shoulders back. Open your chest one more time. Roll your shoulders up and then back. Find your tall spine. Inhale, arms go all the way up high toward the ceiling. And then once your palms touch, cross just your thumbs here. Lift up tall. Just scoop back just a little bit. Using your very strong core, front side, back side, start to hinge, maintaining the length in your spine, keeping your hips on your heels best you can. And gently find your half towards. Now once you're here, continue to sit your hips back, extend your arms forward. So it's just the sides of your pinky fingers that are on the floor. Find that nice compression through your hips. And just allow yourself to continue to sit your hips heavy as you extend your arms forward. Create a beautiful side body stretch. Compression in your hips. Take one more breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Your next inhale, use your strong core. Lift yourself up, biceps with your ears. Yes. And gently push out the air, right, left. Lower your hands on either side. Take a brief moment here. Hands on either side or on your lap. Close down your eyes. Empty out your lungs. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Gently tuck your chin in. Inhale, roll your head over your left shoulder. Allow your head to gently roll back. direction, head over your right shoulder. Allow your head to roll all the way back. Head over your left shoulder. Chin toward your chest. Inhale, lift your chin up. And exhale, relax. One more time, hold deep, inhale through your nose, and exhale it out. Good. Your next inhale, open your eyes. Nice job, everybody. Hopefully, um, with our yoga practice, even uh, when it's fairly mellow, our underlying current, our foundation, is always our breath and I feel like that as a practice is so helpful uh, not just for our practice itself keeping ourselves calm both up here and in our bodies but also outside in life right just when you're walking around it's so easy I'm sure you've seen it either in yourself or in other people where uh, you know tensions arise and uh, emotions kind of get ourselves really riled up it's really nice to remember we have breath. It's really nice to remember um, that we can get ourselves in this really calm state 
and hopefully with practice, preserve a pretty steady, calm state. So we're never too riled up, we're always pretty peaceful, pretty mellow, pretty calm and at ease, right? It's good for our heart, it's good for our health, all those wonderful things. So anyway, anytime you're feeling stressed, remember, take those breaths for yourself. Right? Nobody can take away your calm, your peace. Uh, so long as we remember that we have that calm, that peace within us, you just use your breath, give yourself three slow, deep breaths, and I guarantee you, you might not have solved whatever situation that got you there, but you'll feel a lot nicer, calmer, more relaxed, more at ease. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and tomorrow we will get our heart rate up in uh, our cardio bit, 15 minutes at 9 a.m. I'll see you there. Have a great day. Bye.